Hello guys and this is the 10th tutorial of the series and today I want to go over uh, making cinematics in Matini and working with cinematic mode in Kismet. So to start off I'm just going to quickly open up a map that I've made previously and I'm going to show you the different elements of a cinematic and show you what one looks like. Now I'm going to show you how to make one. So as you'll see I've got a very standard trigger here camera actor if I go to Kismet I've got my trigger which is this one here so when I walk over it it will fire off the uh, Matini so I've got cinematic mode here and I've got the player variable and I've got set it to all players and I've got the Matini and the camera actor which is there so now I'm just going to quickly walk over the trigger and set off the cinematic okay so here we go as you'll see here, like uh, my HUD is gone, my and I can't move my character. The only reason why my character is moving up and down like that is because I've stepped on a awkward piece of ground. So if I move back quickly from that, and it will all be good. Okay, so if I press play, walk over it, and there we go. It's all fine. And I move over, and I go through the door and my camera just adjusts to some of the different objectives in the level, it's just it's a very basic level and it just maneuvers around some of the different objects here like uh, however you want and then goes back as if uh, it's blending in ready to play and there we have it so I've shown you some of the basic elements of this cinematic already so for now I'm just going to delete the camera actor, continue continue and I'm going to delete the kismet related uh, things in kismet okay so to start off I want to go to my content browser and I want to find a camera actor then to put that down to right click add camera actor here as you'll see it's all in black because the lighting hasn't been done yet so okay so once you got that I'm going to show you it'll call lock selected actor to camera so when I move it around the, my camera around the viewport it will also move the object so I'm just going to click that and you'll see it's disappeared because it is now on, uh, right on where my camera is you can't see it though but when I move, when I uncheck it and move back you will see what I mean okay, if I uncheck it now move back and you'll see it's aiming towards where I want it to go first so you quickly move your camera to where you want it to be aiming first and then go to Kismet and make a new Matini and that's what we'll be working with uh, what we'll be working with to make the cinematic so once you've done that you turn on double click on it and create a new camera group you don't want to make empty uh, empty group as we're not working with um, we're not working with meshes anymore we are working with a camera I'm just going to call this camera 1 and as you'll see here we've got the standard movement track and the field of view angle track basically what the movement track is it moves around the canima uh, camera and animates it to your liking and then the field of view angle uh, tells Matini how much how much to zoom in and the timings for zooming in and out so to start off I'm going to press enter here to make another keyframe and then in about a, I'm going to set once you've clicked on the keyframe you'll see this little thing here adjust key movement so you want to change where you want the second keyframe to be this is about like a bit like Adobe Flash have any of you uh, done any work with that where you have to have different keyframes in it so if I uncheck that and move back and it's got it going, uh, going towards the second place so if I show you that so if I show you that now quickly try to find uh, which one's Martini always have that problem so we press stop which will take it to the start and press play the camera moves but you can't see out of the camera so to fix that you just want to press this little icon here and you'll go into uh, the camera mode so you press stop and play your camera moves for you so let's say I want to move it it's going to make a couple of keyframes so it goes to different uh, parts of the room so I'm just going to have like um, 
you know that's not even moving it uh... so yeah lock selected to camera and i'm going to move it there and press stop and play and it'll go to the then it'll go there okay and then i'm going to make another one that will go over to the door as you see here just gonna move that back a bit to go get the timings right really and then I'm gonna have another one that goes through the doors so you press stop and play you will have a cinematic that goes through the door but you want it to look realistic so you're gonna want to uh, make the doors uh, move or uh, open as you fly from so make sure you uncheck lock selected actors to camera I've made this mistake so many times and once you've done that you won't be moving anything so it's all good now so with the door selected if you can and then right click new empty group and I'm going to call this doors Actually, I'm just going to call this door 1 so you can't uh, add different actors in one group okay so I'm going to right click and so I'm just going to delete the folder. I sent made a folder rather than a group. I'm just going to call this door one. And then you want to right click and find a add new movement track. I'm sorry about that. Um, I forgot to select my door. Yeah, common mistake. New empty group. Door what? Door one. Then new movement track. So you've got your keyframe here. And so wherever you want it to start off moving, so if you go to your camera, that's where it starts. So when it goes starts panning in, you can have want it just about here, just just a little bit through the um animation. So I press enter move that around there and I'm gonna move my door up as if it's opening so I press stop and then play the door does open uh, as you go going for it just not quite fast enough so let's move that back a bit and this one So with cinematics and animations like this, you you want to try get your timings right. And here we go. And you see the second door didn't open. So now with that, you want to make a another group with the second door selected. So here we have our second door. New empty group. I'm just gonna call this door two. And then I'm gonna make a new movement track so I'm just going to have these just slightly after the first ones so as you see it's normal there and then just gonna and there we go and just go just as keyframes this door goes up as well press stop go to our camera mode and press play and there we go. The reason why I'm doing the doors on this one Matini timeline is because you can't trigger off certain uh, different Matinis within a Matini itself. So always bear that in mind and make sure you're working with a single Matini. Okay, so now I've got my camera moving around here. I'm going to go around these objects. All these are uh, little orbs that when you shoot them, they will disappear. sorry about that okay so I'm just gonna move this to around 20 seconds whenever you're working with cinematics you want it to this little red triangle to be near the uh, near the end of your cinematic because that is the end time so just drag that out a bit okay so we've got this keyframe here it's gonna press enter make a new one and this is just going to go here and 
then I'm going to make another one that goes see the next one's going to go here ok so we press stop and play it should move around it and there we go and as you can hear you probably just heard that uh, in the background that you can hear the portals in Matini in cinematic mode you will always still have the sound in there I'm pretty sure there is a way of disabling it though so I'm just going to keep on working with the cinematic here and then I'm going to show you how to get it moving and then I'm going to have it going to the different objectives in the map I'm probably going to have like a bot spawning here you can do that in the team you can switch switch them around it's going to make another one this one's going to come back out and it's going to go there and this one is going to go towards the little switch here so you press stop and play you will notice that it goes around and you'll follow the little yellow track line that you have here which is the movement track sorry about the lag spike there don't worry, don't worry about that so when you're working with Matini, a little cool feature that you can add is you can you can make you can make uh, Matini go back to your player as if so one so the cinematic blends into your actual character. So I'm just gonna make a couple more of these. Just going to drag that out a bit. see where that one's on and this one I'm going to move around here control Z you don't want to control click both of them otherwise it will it will move more than just the one Let's see Okay, so, and then the last one's going to be, it's going to be facing here, so when you press play, once it comes out of the cinematic, uh, it will show your player, and then you can just move backwards as if you was actually playing to stop, play, and you'll see it comes out to the door, goes through this little room, goes through the portal, into this room, checks out the different objectives, and goes back. okay so as you'll notice some of these haven't moved properly as I would have liked them to just gonna make sure I've got that checked and move this one here And I'm going to move this one to go here. I'm just going to press stop and then play and see if it's see if it should be all right now. There we go, straight through there. And once again, it's just following the little yellow track. I'm not too sure why it keeps stopping there. So I'm just going to delete these keyframes after the point where it stops. Okay, so I'm just going to press enter, and with that selected, I'm just going to go back here, just see it keeps going back to the original point so I have to move it again and that's because it will start on this little point here you want it to be afterwards ok 
case if I press stop and play, it should be all fine now that I have uh, clicked lock selected active to camera. There we go. Goes back, goes to the switch, but it still wants to stop. So you need to work out why that is. So I'm just going to start doing them here. So I'm just going to make a another point in time here and this one's just going to take me straight back through and as if I was the player and just going to be looking down on the player and if I press stop and play now it should go back to normal and it should take you straight back it'll be a little bit fast because the time I've, uh, I've set for where I want to go is not as long as I'd want it to be. So as you see here, it's not really placed too well. Okay, so I'm now I'm gonna add a trigger into UDK so the player can fire off the animation. So make sure you've unchecked that common mistake there, and I've somewhat managed to move the floor. So you just, I'm just gonna quickly rotate this back into place. Okay, there we go. You see the co colors a bit off due to um, uh, due to I haven't got my lighting built, and I've, and I've got a red uh, floor in there. You don't need to worry about it. You probably won't make a mistake as long as you don't check that. You can just press Control Z. So I'm going to right click on this little ring here, add actor, and then trigger. I'm sorry. There we go. Add actor, and then add trigger. Not too sure why it keeps wanting to do that. Okay, there's our trigger. So I'm just going to line that up with the little ring, just so I know where the trigger is and I can set it off at the appropriate time. Okay, now to do some work in Kismet. So I'm going to go to New Event using Trigger for Touch. So if I go there and then press Play, and then Minimize and press play it's not going to do anything when I walk over the trigger as I have done there so to do that you want uh, Matini to tell uh, UDK what character you want to be what char that you want to use a, set, a certain camera so I'm just gonna right click here and then new director group and then just press play I mean press enter and then you'll have the camera one group that I've got here. Make sure it's the camera one, not like the doors or platforms or whatever you're trying to move. Make sure it's the camera. And then if I close that and walk over it, it will play the cinematic. But you still have your heads up display there. I'm just going to come out of there quickly. I'm going to show you how to use cinematic mode in Kismet and explain some of the different options. Just gonna go here, and I'm gonna right click, new action, and then find toggle, and then cinematic mode. So when it's touched, you want that to be enabled, and when it's completed, you want it to be disabled. Otherwise, you won't be able to move or well. To, basically, cinematic mode will still be on once the cinematic has finished. So with this. You don't. I'm just gonna set the uh, high player as off, so you can see it. Cause I've got that cool blending effect. You can disable movement, turning, hide HUD. You're definitely gonna want that, and you'll be able to see dead bodies. So, and then you want to make a new variable, which is gonna be the player. It's set to all players. It's gonna be like a single player map, really. This is, and I'm just gonna set target to players. And then if I get rid of that, press play. walk over it, my HUD is gone and the static is playing correctly I'm just going to give it a second to finish off the cinematic and see if it has disabled properly and yep there we go so if you want to make the, you can make the animation uh, cooler if you want, you can adjust it around whatever you've done but anyway that's about all I wanted to show you for making cinematics, it should give you the basic idea on how to make them uh, so thanks for watching, comment, like, rate and subscribe.